The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition.
Over there. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. A camp here, in the open wind. It was definitely set up by scholars. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents in the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they were wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Done Gada. One of the rally clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They're not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's camps. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. Clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. It was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide dead children. This man was unarmed. And from the position of his body, I would say he was fleeing. It is not honor that motivates them. Maybe it was vengeance. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. Isolated. Discreet. Perfect visibility. Great. It is a journal. 
That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. A woman with sharp eyes. They might have saved her life. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. This woman was right to fear the Donea ex Regal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Look, those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. That's possible. They look like trackers. But what are they? Rina, I say! We won't let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. We have no wish to fight you. Siora. Sorry. I am not going to help save people who capture our people and attack them. You will get nothing from us, Renaise. We are ready to return to the Earth. In that case... <laughs> Spare our lives, Renaixi. We will help you. Where have you locked up the scholars? In the old ruins, where we have also made our camp, north of the valley. But if you want to stop a fight against our people, you should avoid the main entrance also. Very well. You may leave.
kill me. Tell me then, what is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. After this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? Well, we were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He's worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? Desarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm. The new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. Kurt. Simply Kurt. I protect our excellencies back. And if one of your violent fits overcomes you, rescue party or not, I will kill you. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars shout, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are oh so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs.
This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. I would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. I fled as they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. Please, Honor Manawi, let's try to avoid the fight. I can't do that.
Is that you? Come quickly. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger. I must find a way to get out of this valley without putting my companions in danger. Mercy, you have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Spare their lives. I beg you. They were only fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. Very well. Leave. And I hope you keep your word. Thank you, Honor Manawi. I have spoken, and I will honor my words, Kwa Awalamseg.
We are no longer in danger. Thank you for your help, Dasade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true man of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Sir Desade, and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Excellence. You are a providential man. Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tiena Hak Kadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. How's that? Liamatra did nice yak them? Huh. Well, I grasped the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag. Remedy. Surprising. But the Tiernahach is very powerful and very wise. It is possible that she did craft such a remedy.